In this video, we will show you how to register for variable credits. Not all courses are approved to be offered as variable credit hours, but this is helpful information to know if you're taking an internship or working on your dissertation as examples. From the My USF homepage, click on the Student Self-Service tile. You will then be directed to the Student Self-Service landing page, where you should select Plan and Register from the Registration menu options. This will take you to the Registration landing page to register for classes. Select the Register for Classes option. On the next screen, you will see a field labeled Term Open for Registration. Select the term for which you wish to register. Note, for Summer-Fall Registration, you will see both terms listed, and you must register for each term separately. Click the Continue button to move to the next page. On the next page, you will see your four tabs across the top of the screen. Find Classes, Enter CRNs, Plans, and Schedule and Options. You will want to select Schedule and Options. Once you select Schedule and Options, the screen will change and the summary of your registered courses will appear in the top window. Variable credit courses appear with a line under the number, as you can see in this example. Variable credit hour courses can be updated up until the add drop deadline by clicking on the number that is underlined. An approved credit hour range for the course is provided to you. Please ensure that you entered what you were directed by the applicable office or academic department. The course can now be changed to any number of hours between what is stated in the field. In this case, one to four hours. To change the hours, click on the number, backspace over the number, and type in the new hour value. Click out of the space. After you confirm that it is the number of hours you wish to take, click the Submit button at the bottom right corner of the page. After you submit, you will receive a Save Successful message which means the hours change is complete. To see other information or watch additional videos with in-depth instructions about the components of student self-service, please check them out on the Office of the Registrar webpages. And as always, go Bulls!